Uh, this is Emilio representing the workplace team. So can you get to the next slide, please, Adrian? Okay, so for this sprint, we have uh, three goals, basically. The first thing we wanted to do is validate the roadmap priorities with the product advisory group. Uh, it is something we're doing, it's in progress. Uh, we also are in the middle of the project week uh, during this sprint. That's why it's in terms of back fixing and, and you know working on actual uh, tasks from the backlog, it's a very short sprint for us. And uh, we're also doing the learning catalog benchmarking. For the next uh uh for the next year uh, for to be defined during this increment and be worked on in the next increment and this is something that we already uh did the initial benchmark so if you can get to the next slide please adrian okay so about uh the roma priorities with the pg uh we what we're doing basically right now is validating them again because during the last quarter of 2021 we did a prioritization of all components in workplace separately and then we did a final prioritization uh, taking the most uh the top priorities from each component in a final activity and the outcome from that was a list of 23 priorities uh that we used to uh create the roadmap for the for the six to 18 months after workplace 4 was released so we did all that preparation in advance then we focus on workplace four and the intention was just to start uh to go back to that roadmap after workplace four but uh since uh it's been a long time since the last time we did this prioritization we thought that it would be great to revalidate these priorities with the PE to make sure that they still think that those are the top priorities uh, so this is what we are doing right now. You can, can you go to the next slide, please, Adrian? So uh, just to give you a little bit of context on this, in Workplace, we use the idea type of uh, issues in a tracker uh, for the for any issue that either ourselves or the PEG most often uh, create on the tracker about new ideas. So this is basically anything that requires some input from the PEG. It's turn into an idea if it's an improvement, not, not a bug. And then from time to time, we ask the PEG to prioritize this feature so we can get a, a um, so we can update the priorities from all of them and we uh, take to come to create the roadmap for the next months. We always take features from that idea backlog, right? So during the last quarter of 2021, we did that prioritization and this is what we wanted to revalidate. Can you go to the next slide, please? So using that from that list, we created this workplace roadmap for the next, for the six to 18 months following workplace four. And we took into consideration not only the score from that prioritization, but also some dependencies and alignment with the short term strategy. So just an example, the feature that ranked the most was charging report builder, but we decided to put learning catalog, which was the second priority in the list. We decided to put it first because it was more aligned with Workplace 4 and we had started to, you know, to, oh, and by that time we will have created some of the pieces that we will need for the learning catalog, such as the program page, the cover page for courses and programs and so on. So we thought that it was more aligned and that's why we put it in the first place. Uh, next slide, please. So basically what we're doing right now is taking all the features we saw listing in 2021 and add the ideas that have been reported since then to create uh, a new list. And with this list, we are splitting them into two groups. So we're putting all big features together and all smaller features together. So and for us, a big feature is something that will take more than one sprint for a team or one or two people to complete. Sorry, more than three sprints. So which means uh more than a minor release in in workplace and then what we're going to do is we're is run car sorting activities for both groups with the PAG and then to create the new uh, uh Roma for the next six to 18 months we'll combine both lists uh to create a release plan and again we'll take into account dependencies alignment with roadmap and so on but basically we'll take like a one big feature at a time and then we'll complete with smaller features to uh, for the increment. But the first two features in the list are not under discussion. So we know that we're going to work in learning catalog next. After that, 
the graphs will come, graphs in report builder. So we're discussing right now about everything that will come after graphs. Or at the same time, if there is more features. Um, so this is something that is in progress. We completed step two, uh, one and two. The prioritization activity is going out this week uh, in, in a couple of days, if, if possible. And then we will uh, use this information for planning for the increment. For, but probably for the increment after this one, because in this increment, we want to focus on uh, on backlog and back fixing and, and follow up from WordPress form. 